go. We're going into the a crybaby here. Um, just for like again, we uh, we'll have to separate what it what's going to be mono and what's going to be what's going to be stereo. Yeah, I suppose. Um, so this is just like a mon the mono wah that we I'm using. Um, but. It's interesting for like something like Broken Bells or something, the solo in that. So it'd be, you know, kind of starting here yeah. with that solo section. It, it's in uh, C. And then here we can, because the solo is in, we stereoed it in the, in the studio, so yeah. to be able to have that effect, this wah pedal, this Dunlop, is actually a stereo wah, so it moves the, the guitar signal from left to right as oh. it's decompressed and, and, ex, and, and compressed. How cool! So you can hear it, I'm not sure it'll translate, but... Jake, you win. Top. That's the coolest rig ever to have that <laughs> wah good. go between them. Oh my yeah. god. It's pretty good and I think it's really quite effective for oh, the audience too. Right. Because it's going off these huge PAs and God and just to have that sweep from one end to the other. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, so, that's great. I've never seen a wah or never heard a wah going. No, that's something that we kind of came like up a, with. in a studio pan left yeah. and right. Yeah, yeah, that's something that we just sort of kind of came up with and oh. thought would be interesting conceptually. That's a great idea, man. Yeah, so Okay, we'll see. show me more So that's cool. cool. Stuff. <laughs> so, yeah. So the next sort of thing that we did as well because we're working with a lot of sort of stereo things now in an interesting way. Um, so there's a uh, still Holy Grails like the, the the pedal, the Holy Grail pedals, they're great reverb. Yeah. So we were able to configure one to be a to be stereo reverb. So you have the mono setting here, and you can kind of see how that's straight. But yeah. if we go to Grail 2, it becomes wider. Right. So it's since. So You know, it's Huge. Got this really wide stereo sound set really helps sort of separate it. It's cool. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you pan it. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, they're so into that's it. cool. Yeah, yeah they're they really like it. <laughs> they, yeah. yeah. All yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so uh, same with it. We have a, a pog that's been introduced. Okay. And so this is interesting for, for built by nations. Uh, is something I use that for, and I kind of use it, kind of throughout. So it's interesting. There's a bunch of different things going on here, but the cool thing about this rack system is before it's like a, the pedal system, pedal board that we had. Yeah. You know, I'd have to click maybe sure. three or four you to were configure. Tap dancing. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. So this is cool because now we can, can sort of combine any of these settings for anybody who's not familiar with this type of system. And and for instance, there's a pedal that I can cover right now called a talkback, and I think uh, Dan Electro makes it. And it's, oh basically a reverse delay. Yeah. So it sounds like the guitar and that is going backwards when in essence it's the delay is being shot backwards. So if you can hear it here. The talk back on. The talk back on. Yeah. Whatever that is, it yeah, sounds yeah, it's great. <laughs> right. So there's a couple of things too. It, um, stereo with the pog. So there's a uh, Octaver, the pog. Yeah. But, so here's the talk back.
that's kind of a couple things going on there. That is so great, man. Yeah, it's well, really cool. So that, there's the octaver, there's the pog, you can kind of hear that, and then the, then the talk back, which kind of starts it. It's like a reverse guitar. Wow. So it's pretty cool. So, and it's all controlled by this, and you have presets for different, to give you different combinations. Right, exactly. And so that's pretty much it. I mean, there aren't a ton of uh, pedals that I'm using, just more configurations of pedals. Uh, there's two more. There's just a slap back, which we were also able to make stereo. Yeah. We were able to do a stereo slap back. Um, you just kind of hear it. Um, let's see. Here. The stereo slap. Over the whole thing. Yeah. Really cool. But it That's makes it so much wider. This sort of right. Well, and you've got to cover so much sonic space with this band because mm -hmm. it's just, you know. One guitar player. Yeah, yeah, one guitar player, you know, bass and drums. Although, uh, your brother's <laughs> carrying, it, it, Sam's right. carrying a lot of, uh, he's covering a lot of ground too. Yeah, absolutely. But God, that sounds huge. So, yeah. um, we've photographed all your pedals back there, but cool. basically, it, yeah, there's the, there's the Pog, there's the there's Pog. Uh, Holy Grail. Yep. I don't know. Few other things. Yeah, long we'll, delays. We'll show a photo of it right now, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> it's up to these guys. Yeah. They can do it. There's a Mel Mellotron pedal, Mel 9, too, oh, that yeah. I could demonstrate. Oh, yeah, well. I'd love to hear that. That's yeah, a, please. That's another really interesting, really interesting one. And that's, that's if, if, if anyone's sort of wondering what um, as happening in um, Trip the Light Fantastic, there's a Mellotron going on, but it's it's not Sam on keys. It's actually it's actually the guitar with oh, the Mel really? pedal. Because you've because there's actually is a Mellotron yes, there. I assumed that that was one. it. Right, <laughs> but it's actually this. So you can get the nuances of a Mellotron, but coming through a guitar. Oh, and, cool! Let's hear it. So it's kind of interesting. God, it's great. It's man. kind of interesting. Yeah.